gonna go into the workshop, get some things set up. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Today I'm trying to build a lamp that I've seen uh, on the internet. So I'm copying someone else's idea today. I'm gonna do it a bit differently, of course, put my own spin on it. And we're gonna take you guys along, show you how I did it. And uh, hopefully at the end, we end up with a cool lamp. Uh, so behind me, we have my workshop. It is an old uh, cattle barn stable end of the house uh, I believe they used to keep two cows in here uh, it's not really set up as a workshop it's just where everything's ended up for now I'm hoping one day to build myself a nice workshop down the garden uh, with a small barn attached to some other things but who knows what's possible with time so for now this is where I'm doing all my projects like every good workshop first of all you have to get everything out of it it's full of lawn mowers trimmers you name it, it's stored in here. So the next question is, does he get a pressure gauge for a face or does he get a small lamp? And I'm not sure because there's another two of these that I want to make. One of them is a like a decanter who look like a kind of fireman guy with a bottle on his back. You may have seen the design online. And the other one is <coughs> uh, is a guy with a with a light bulb for his head. And I'm not sure if I want to have two out of the three with light bulbs. I think that would be too much. Uh, but I also think that this guy might look cooler with a light bulb for a head rather than a pressure gauge. So it is decision time. For me, I keep 
everything old. So anything that comes off, anything that I take apart, or anything that I might be useful or leftovers from building the house, then I keep it. Uh, and there we have one white cable which I bought for another project. You can steal it for this one and hopefully somewhere in the bottom maybe no I think I have one yes jackpot one lamp fitting is that the only one yes okay Well, he looks kind of cool, but he also looks a little bit like a brontosaurus. It's just too big for the head. I think he's gonna have to get, I don't know, the only way to make that look better, I think would be to put a tail, try and balance it a little bit, but I think for now, he's just gonna have the pressure gauge for the head and we'll see how he looks with the other ones next to him once they get made and then we'll decide if if he needs a, a light for a head or not I'm kind of stuck in the middle so like that I think he looks too small but I do think he looks better than with the lamp fitting Yes, we will stick with the pressure gauge for the head and we will look and see for his base. So I have the piece of wood for his base and it needs to be cut a few times. I've got an idea of uh, what I want to do with the three different pieces so that they're linked but they don't necessarily all have to be together. And we'll have a quick look at that now. But I think it looks pretty good. is 60 that's gonna work okay so we're gonna do the three different ones uh, there's gonna be the lamp the puppy and there's gonna be the drinks dispenser so the idea is something like that so they can all slide together they all still have plenty of space on the bases uh, and I think I will put the puppy on this end one because he will need the four corners uh, for his support and it also looks kind of cool when he's got his head sideways
So, coincidentally, before I was talking about fixing tools, and I buy a lot of tools like this, the old or new model of Mikitas, and I get these for between 10 euros, 20 euros, anything in that kind of region, depending on what it is. So these sanders at the moment, I think, are about 100 euros. Uh, for this one, I paid 20 with a, a job lot of other stuff. So it was 20 euros per item in the in the job lot. And there was one loose wire inside. So now I have a nice... Nice Makita sander that cost me uh, in total 20 euros, which is ideal. I have the time and I enjoy fixing stuff, so nice and easy. It's one of the things I might do in some of the future videos, is show me repairing some of the stuff. Well guys, that's it for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave any comments down below.